Hi guys, this is Sajak from Joyven.com. In this video, we will show you how to boot your phone to fastboot mode. So when you step into the custom development, then fastboot mode is one such mode with which you interact the maximum number of time. Whether it is for booting your phone by magic patch boot image file, flashing a custom recovery, or fixing boot loop by flashing the stock firmware, each of these tasks require you to boot your phone to fastboot mode. In this regard, there exist three different methods through which you could boot to this mode. The first one is using the hardware key combination, the second one is via ADB commands and the third one is using a third party app. So in this video we will show you all these three methods. So let's get started. The first and foremost method is by using the hardware key combination. Now the biggest issue with this method is that it is not universal. Different phone follows different method to boot your phone to this mode. For example, I am using a OnePlus 7T phone. And in this regard, this phone follows the combination of power, volume, up and volume down. On the other hand, some phones just follow the combination of power and volume up, whereas others follow power and volume down. So you will have to google that key or let me know your phone, I will let you know the combination in the comment section. So let me show you the first method. And yes, the biggest benefit of using this method is the fact that if your phone is in a boot loop or is stuck in a soft brick mode then using the hardware key combination is the only method using which you could boot your phone to fast boot mode. You will not be able to execute any command whatsoever when stuck in a boot loop. So the hardware key combination is the best method while booting your phone to fast boot mode in case of soft break or boot loop. So with that said, let me show you how to execute this task. Your first course of action is to power off your phone. Also make sure that your phone is not connected to the PC. It should be free from your PC. Once your phone has been turned off, in my case it's the power volume up and volume down key to so press these keys for around 4 to 5 seconds and as you could see my phone has now booted to the recovery mode and sorry to the fast boot mode and as you could see this is a fast boot mode screen the last section shows the device state if your boot order is locked it will show locked in my case it's unlocked so my device state is unlocked so guys this was the first method the next method is using the adb commands for that, you will have to first and foremost download and extract the Android SDK platform tools. The link to this has been given in the description. I have also made a video on the same. Please go and have a look at it. The link for these tools are given there. So download this tool and extract it anywhere on your PC. In my case, I have extracted an E drive. And these are all the files that you would be seeing in this drive. So while my phone is booting up, let me tell you the benefit and drawback of this method. The benefit is that it is a universal method and applicable across all the Android devices. On the flip side, if your phone is stuck in a boot loop, then you will, you will not be able to use this method because it requires you to enable USB debugging. And in a boot loop phone, you cannot enable USB debugging. So only use this method if your device is up and running. So with that said, your first course of action is to download the SDK platform tools and extract it on your PC. Once that is done, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging. Let me show you how this can be done. So the phone has booted. First and foremost, go to the settings menu on your device. Just a minute. So go to the settings menu. From there, go to about device. This menu might vary on your device depending on which phone you own. But the steps are the same. Then go to version and tap on build number seven times. You will see that you are now in developer mode. In case of Xiaomi phones, you should tap on MIUI number seven times. So you should now see the developer option. So here is the developer option. So go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Toggle is enabled now. Connect your phone to the PC via USB cable. The device has been connected by USB debugging. And as soon as you do so, now go to the platform tools folder and type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter it will now launch a command prompt inside the directory where the platform tools is installed in my case the platform tools in, is in e drive so you could see that platform tools e drive is the directory after that type in adb devices and it will show you your device id if it is not showing any device id then do one thing type on revoke usb debugging authorization then type on revoke and unplug your phone then replug it back once again and again enable usb debugging tap ok now type on 
then you will get a prompt this time around tap on allow and if this is your own pc you can also check mark always allow tap allow now once again try and this time you should get the device serial id if that's well and good then just execute the command of adb reboot bootloader and your device will be booted to the fast boot mode as mentioned this is the universal method and this command is applicable across all the android phones so this is the second method of booting the device to fast boot mode as you could see my phone has booted now there exists one more method which is using the recovery mode now recovery mode is generally not recommended because it is too long and there are no benefits as such involved by booting to this mode but still let me show you it is applicable across both the stock recovery as well as a custom recovery in case of stock recovery or custom recovery all you need to do is execute a command to boot your phone to recovery mode and from recovery mode you can boot to fast boot mode while there isn't any benefit as such on the other hand it has a drawback that it's quite lengthy but still for the sake of convenience let me show you how you could carry out this task so my phone is currently booting up and after that i'll show you how this could be performed it will take just a few seconds so the device is currently booting up and it's the oneplus logo boot animation going on yes it's booted so again go to settings menu and make sure that usb debugging is enabled on your phone just to ver verify you could also verify by typing the adp devices command just type in available devices and if you get a serial id it means the phone is connected still let me show you once go to system settings developer options and you should see usb debugging enabled make sure you are getting the device serial id as well so now execute the adb reboot recovery command and your device will be booted to the stock recovery or custom recovery depending on what you have currently my phone has the oneplus stock recovery now if your phone has a custom recovery like the twrp so in that case you will get a screen something like this let me show you once this will be the screen that you will be getting so in custom recovery go to reboot and then tap on boot bootloader once you tap on this your device will boot to fast boot mode right away however in my case my phone has a stock recovery so i will show you how to boot to the stock recovery do note that the different phones have different menu when it comes to stock recovery but two three options are same in every stock recovery once is the booting to fast boot mode then it is wiping the data via cache partition wiping the data and wiping the cache partition these three options should be universal across every phone and as you could see booting to stock recovery takes much longer than booting to fast boot mode so generally this is not advice let me still as you can see first and foremost you will have to choose the language so let me choose the language and from there you go to advance sorry go to reboot or go to advance and you could see reboot to fast boot mode this option will vary depending on the phone in my case it's in the advanced menu you will have to verify where it's in your phone so go to advance and tap on reboot to fast boot mode then tap okay in the confirmation prompt your device will now boot to the fast boot mode as you could see it has booted so this was the third method of booting to fast boot mode now let me show you the last method this method involves the use of a third party app now you will only be able to carry out this task if your phone is rooted because booting to fast boot mode requires admin level permission and you could only get admin level permission if your phone is rooted via magisk so if your device is rooted then the best app to do this task is via magisk Yes, Magisk comes inbuilt with this permission, and I will show you how to boot your phone to the fast boot mode using the Magisk app. It is generally the most shortest and easiest way of booting your phone to fast boot mode if your phone is rooted. And you will not need to have install any other third party app as well because if your phone is rooted, you already have the Magisk app. So you won't have to install any other app. So let me show you how you could boot your phone via Magisk. Just a minute, the phone is booting up. One other benefit of using the Magisk app is that you don't need to use the PC for carrying out this task. You can directly do it from the phone itself. So as you could see, my phone is rooted currently and I have the Magisk app installed. If that is the case with you as well. So launch the Magisk app and then and then tap on the 
I refresh icon at the top right. You will now get a few options. Select reboot to bootloader. After selecting reboot to bootloader, your phone will boot to the fastboot mode within a few seconds. So guys, these were the four different methods by which you could boot your phone to fastboot mode. Now our task is not done yet because there is one major thing missing. Up until this point, you have booted your phone to fastboot mode. But you will not be able to execute any fastboot command until and unless you have the fastboot drivers installed. Because your PC needs this driver and if that is not there, then your PC would not be able to identify your device in fastboot mode. What I am trying to say is if you don't have the drivers installed and you execute the fastboot devices command, then the fastboot device will show just a blank with nothing else. Likewise, in the device manager, your phone will have a yellow mark and it will be in the other devices section or in the port section. Both of these signifies that the fastboot drivers are missing. So you will first have to install these drivers. The link for that has been given in the description. I have also made a video. Please check out this video in the description. Once you have installed these drivers, you could verify whether it has been successfully installed or not. There are two ways of doing so. One is using the device manager, and the second method is just a minute. I let me reboot my phone to fastboot mode once again, and I will show you both this method. So ADB reboot bootloader. In my case, I have already installed these drivers successfully. So once I execute the fastboot devices command, it should now show me a serial ID. As you could see, this is serial ID, which signifies that the connection has been established in fastboot mode. Similarly, if I go to the device manager as well, then my devices should now show an Android bootloader interface. Let me show you once. Go to Android device and your device should be shown as Android bootloader interface. This signifies that the fastboot drivers have been installed and you could now execute the desired fastboot commands. So please make sure to install these drivers as well because until and unless you do so, you will not be able to execute any fastboot commands. And all these links have been given in the description as well. You can go and have a check. Lastly, if you own a Pixel 4 or Pixel 5 series phone, then upon using the hardware key combination or using the ADB reboot command, your device might get stuck in the no recovery screen. If that is the case, then all you have to do is press and hold the power key and while doing so, press and hold the volume key for about 5 seconds. So for those 5 seconds, you will have to press and hold both the power key and volume up key. Then release the volume up key and after that release the power key. Once you do so, you will bypass the no command screen and then your phone will boot it to the fast boot mode. That's it guys. If you are stuck anywhere in this guide, do let me know in the comment section. And if you have any queries as well, you can drop them in the comment section. And guys, please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.